Welcome back everybody. This is the Opinionated Brother bringing you a video on how to get your settings right for the Elgato HD software um, and stream to YouTube without all the lagging and buffering um, that's been going on lately. I've been in a lot of message boards and I experienced it myself. I was recently trying to stream Middle Earth Shadow of War and I was experiencing so much lag during the live stream and I literally could not live stream and I had to delete multiple videos because I was having this issue and it seemed like nobody had the right answer. There was a bunch of mixed answers from different people in different videos and nothing worked. Well, I was able to figure out how to get it to work just by following a few uh, little tweaks in the settings and then following um, some steps I'm gonna show you here. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. Um, if you're watching this video, hit the like button, leave a comment in the comment section, let me know what you think, and I'm gonna hop right into it. So right now, I'm not even streaming from the Elgato HD software and you can see that the CPU usage is kind of high. It's at 20%, um, you know, hovering around 20% plus and I'm not even streaming. The reason why that is this right here. This preview window is causing all the issues. First off, when you are about to start stream, right before you start streaming, come down here, click that off. Disable the preview and look at what it's going to do. It dropped it all the way down to 3%. I'm going to enable it and show you. Hovering around 20% plus. This goes even higher when you're streaming. Uh, and look, um, I'm recording on OBS, so it's taking about 50%. So just think, if I didn't have OBS on, I'd say 50% of my CPU usage. And by turning this off, I save another 20, around 20% just by disabling the preview window. Always do that before you stream. You do not need to have the preview window when you have your monitor or your TV right beside you and you're actually playing the game. So that's tip one. Here's some recommended settings for the Capture HD. I use the Capture HD 60. So this is the only thing you really need to know here. Set it to Xbox One, HDMI audio, that's standard. Um, set HDMI color range to standard and set it to 720p um, and allow 60 frames per second. Also, I set the quality to good. If you wanna see what it looks like, definitely go check out my Middle Earth Shadow of War. I streamed it, the most recent one I streamed, I streamed it in 720p, 60 frames per second. It looks great. My audio was great. Everything was perfect using this software and these settings. So I'm gonna cancel out of here. Now you want to go here to maximum rate and put maximum resolution to 720p. Since most people on YouTube anyway are watching it in 720p, not a lot of people are actually watching it in 1080p, but the 60 frames per second definitely is nice. It helps out your uh, quality a lot and it looks great. So set your maximum uh, frame rate to 60 frames per second. And that's all you need to do for that. Uh, make sure you have your YouTube channel in there and um, that's all you need to do there. Um, before you stream, make sure you always click commentary to make sure your commentary is on. And that's all you need to do for the settings wise. Like I said, if I can harp on one thing, the one thing you wanna do is definitely click off this preview and save some CPU usage because if your CPU usage is too high, you will overload your computer when you're trying to stream. And when you're streaming, you're definitely using a lot of your CPU to stream. So definitely avoid that by disabling the preview. I'm also gonna show you a trick on how to best stream to YouTube. You don't want to just put your settings in here um, do the video title and all that and then press stream. Do not do that. Um, you want to go here. You have two choices. You have uh, go to your uh, creator studio and then go to live streaming and you have stream now and events. Stream now right here. As soon as you click stream right here, you're going to see it go from offline to um, now live and you'll see your live stream right here, your chat window. Um, you can type in, you know, the name of your title, 
all your description and things like that. Um, I always put it to gaming and then it actually lets you enter the name of the title here. It's actually searchable. So always want to do that to make it easier for people to find you. So this is uh, okay. I used to use this. I still was having a little bit of issues. So I went here. Now, events. Events, just say, you know, you're not going to stream yet. You just want to set it up or you're about to stream. This is the easiest way, in my opinion, to do it. Works flawlessly. Go to schedule a new event. And then when this comes up, enter your title. I'll name it test stream. Um, it's 1140 right now. So just say I wanted to do it for 1150 or 1145. I'll still do 12 a.m. And then it'll let me stream early. So test stream. Okay. Make sure all your settings, you know, add tags if you want, you know, test stream. These tags are important because uh, anything, uh, any of these keywords are going to be uh, searchable. And they're going to pop up. Um, advanced settings. Uh, enable live chat. Yes. I kind of leave all these the same. The only thing I really go into is here. So like I was telling you earlier, it's searchable. So like NBA 2K18, if I want to stream 2K18 or Destiny, Destiny 2, May 2017. So it's the newest one. You can pop that in there. Um, definitely helps for YouTube gaming uh, so that you can be searchable there. Monetize. I always, you know, add monetizing, put them all on. And then everything to your liking, go to create event. Then from here, you're going to be able to add a thumbnail. Um, let's just wait for it to go here. All right. So, um, you just go to browse, add a thumbnail, huh, Jerry Jones kneeling, uh, just add a thumbnail. Uh, I like doing it this way. You add a thumbnail right from there. And I always go here to basic ingestion and I set it to that 720p. And I enable 60 frames per second. Key, you definitely want to do this um, for your for the best results. And after that, save changes and then go to the live control room. So you are all ready to go. And you noticed this live control room. I mean, it's, it's nice. Um, but I feel like this live control room has way more information. It will uh, tell you when you're live. It is set, um, show you a preview. It's a 720p stream, your average uh, live duration, uh, total view time, uh, peak concurrent views. So how many people are watching, how many people, what the most amount of people were watching at one given time. And then here's your preview of it. And then here's what the public sees when they go. Um, they'll see your video here and then the live chat here. So here's where I see the live chat and I communicate with everybody directly from here. So I like this better. And now watch what it's going to do. When you go here, do not worry about the title. Do not worry about any of this. Because when you click stream, your live event pops up. All you have to do is click start streaming. And then immediately you'll see everything come up to here. It'll say you're now live. And, you know, your ticker will go. It shows you how long your um, video is playing, uh, how long you've been streaming, all that good stuff. This super easy, very user friendly, and you can communicate with your viewers directly from here in the live chat by either typing or talking to them. I like to talk to people. I don't like to, you know, type in responses. I'll just say it. But um, so like I said, this is the easiest way to do it. And right now I'm going to click cancel. But also remember, if you take nothing from this, make sure you disable this live preview you do not need this disable that you're good to go you can add overlays just by editing screen um adding a webcam overlay and it'll put it right on there uh, you actually can use chroma key too so if you have a green screen like i got behind me you don't see it of course because i chroma keyed it out but it allows you to pick a color chroma key it out um and that's all i got for you if there's any questions 
please leave a comment like on any other features in Elgato that you want to know how to use. I can definitely make a video for that or walk you through it. Um, if you're new to the channel again, please subscribe. If you're not new, like the video, leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know what you think and definitely um, share it across social media. I appreciate everybody who's tuning in to watch my videos on a consistent basis. And I want this channel to be as much of a community based channel as possible. Um, and that's all I got for you. Opinionated brother, out.